let's talk about designing your battery once you have all your all your batteries you're gonna have to design how the battery pack is gonna be gonna be put together um, one of the decisions you have to make is what voltage are you gonna run you can either run 12 volts 24 volts 36 volts or 48 volts um, the I build I would only ever build in uh, 24 or 48 volts I wouldn't build in 12 volts and I probably wouldn't build in 36 volts um, and let me tell you why firstly 12 volts um, while there are a lot of inverters and a lot of inverters for 12 volts those 12 volts are meant for uh, lead acid batteries lithium ion batteries don't divide nicely into 12 volts if you build a 3p pack you'll hit 12 volts fully fully um, fully charged but fully discharged they go down a 3p pack will go down to 9 volts which is below what most inverters will let you get to so you're never going to be able to get all the energy out of the batteries in a 3p configuration if you do a 4p configuration um, that means fully discharged it'll get down to about 12 volts which is fine but the problem is fully charged it'll be 16 volts and again a 12 volt inverter is not gonna like 16 volts um, and so uh, 12 volts in lithium ion just makes no sense to me I always build in 24 volts 24 volts means that fully charged your pack will be 29 volts and fully discharged your pack will be about 20 21 volts a 24 volt inverter normally has a range between 20 volts and 30 volts which is perfect because we are going from 29 down to 20 volts um, in a in a 7s configuration so I always build in 24 volts because um, the 24 volt inverters can handle what the lithium packs uh, can can handle the voltage range of a 7s uh, lithium pack now you can go 48 volts um, it, dep it has a lot to do with how many watts you are going to be pulling from your power wall if you're just pulling 1500 2000 watts like I am 20 volt volt is fine you can use 10 gauge wire um, um, and and not have any problems with your wire not being thick enough or not being able to deliver the um, amps that the inverter needs if you start trying to do a 4000 watt power wall um, at 24 volts you are asking for a lot of amps you're starting to ask for you know a hundred and you know probably 150 amps that is a lot of amperage and you're gonna have to run some really thick wires to deliver 150 amps um, continuous so at that point you would probably if you're trying to pull 4000 watts you're better off with a 48 volt um, pack because then it'll be under 100 amps and you can go back to some reasonable gauge wire wiring the wire size is directly dependent on the amps you are trying to pull not the voltage the wire doesn't really care about the volts it only cares about the amps so um, the more volts the, le the less amps you need and the smaller the wire you can get away with okay so you pick your um, you pick the voltage range that you're gonna gonna use 12 24 36 48 um, then you then it's a, a, a matter of factoring how many batteries you have I have around 600 batteries I know I want to do 24 volts um, which means if I build in 80 battery packs um, 80 times 7 is 560 so uh, my 600 batteries will be perfect if I do a 7s 80p battery I'll use 560 batteries which works out beautifully um, so and the, another nice thing about doing an like 80 in parallel is uh, these these um, 18650 holders coming these are 20 battery segments so four of these together is 80 this is a perfect 
Um, it, you know, the numbers just work out perfect where 80 batteries in 7S gets, uses, my, uses up all the batteries I have and um, fits nicely into one of these holders. Um, couple things I want to say. Don't, um, if your batteries, you know, depending on how many batteries you have to start, um, you, you got to think about your power wall. If you only have 300 batteries to start, that just doesn't build much of a power wall. And so the question becomes, do you build the power wall with 300 batteries or do you build the power wall knowing that you'll have to get more batteries later and maybe you you use those 300 batteries to build only half of your packs and then you acquire more packs later, more batteries later. Um, you're really going to need a few kilowatts in your power wall to make your power wall um, before I would even consider it a reasonable power wall. So again, um, these 600 batteries will be about six kilowatts and that's a, that's a decent size for a, for a starting power wall. Um, um, so, you know, think about how many batteries you have and, and the configuration you want to use. The other thing is wiring the batteries. This is a battery pack for a small portable solar generator. This is already wired in 7S configuration within the pack. Okay, this pack is, this is these batteries series up to these batteries, which series up to these batteries, which series up to these batteries, and then it becomes 24 volts across this one pack. This is great for a solar generator, but don't build your power wall like this. Let me get this out of the way and show you what I mean. Don't take your 80 batteries and series them up in this pack. If you do that, that means you will have to have a balancer and a BMS for this individual pack. And you're going to have a bunch of these packs. So every single one will need a balancer and a BMS. Instead, what you do is you put all of your batteries in parallel. This is 80 batteries and they are all facing the same way. So once this is wired, this is going to be a 80 battery. A pack, but it's only going to be four volts because this is, there is only the, all the batteries are in parallel. There is nothing in series, so this will be four volts. But then what I'll do is I'll have seven of these, and seven of these together will add up to my twenty-four volt pack. And then the nice thing about doing doing seriesing up the seven of these is you only need one BMS. You connect each balance lead to each one of the seven packs and the balancer will balance each pack. It'll treat all 80 batteries as though they are one large battery. So by you series up seven large individual batteries to get your 24 volts. Do not try and put 24 volts together on this pack and then maybe parallel them up. That's a horrible idea because you will have to balance each one then and each one will need a BMS. Just series up one big pack. Uh, no, just just treat each individual pack as fully in parallel. Each one will be four volts, and then you'll add packs together to get to your 24 volts or 36 volts or 48 volts. Um, so that is designing your pack. You know how many batteries you have, how what configuration you're going to put them whether you're going to do 7S for 20 volt volts, 10S for 36 volts, or 14S for 48 volts. Um, you know your design, you know your configuration, you get your 18650 holders, you clip them together in the configuration you've decided on, and you start to assemble your packs. And then once you have your seven packs, you can begin the process of soldering, which I will do in my next video where I'll add the bus bars and begin individually soldering these packs.